Yeah, all right, everyone, welcome back. Good morning and all that stuff. Okay, so just a video before I head off to work. We're going to do a current events on YouTube. It's been a while, so of course we're going to start off with the flavor of the month, the stupid sniffing sheriff, who this is going to surprise people. I've shown a little bit of empathy for this morning because from what I've been told behind the scenes, that he's quite distraught with all what's happening. Yeah, um, he's made him ill. He's having practically a nervous breakdown. You've only got to see his last few videos to understand that. He's come on looking glum, fed up, depressed, lonely. You know, how long have you got? So, <laughs> yeah, you've made me look a bit stupid now, haven't you? <laughs> Poor old sheriff. Poor old sheriff. He's really going through it. So, um, what can I say? Look, I know he's um, a scruffy Bagged, yeah, he's got an addiction with coke. He's even at it at bloody six, seven o'clock in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. And he's got quite a colourful lot of friends, if you if you understand. You know, we're talking about Emma and um, Beavis and Butthead and Andy Bailey. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Mr. Paddy Pants down, Scotty J. God, how long have you got? All the misfits, all the social misfits of YouTube. But yeah, the sheriff is practically beaten. He's been beaten by himself. You know, he got carried away. His tongue ran away, ran away with him. He choked on his own poison. And basically, you have just seen the self-destruction of the stupid sniffing sheriff. Evening, everyone. Uncle Festa the second. Okay, uh, what else has been happening on YouTube? So, I sat through what seemed like... Two hours of Hedgehog, um, Video Craig, yeah. Jesus Christ, it was about 20 minutes, but it felt like two hours. He rambled and droned on about his addictions. Did he tell you that he's going to be 11 months clean on November the 17th, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, you've told us for about the millionth time. Jesus Christ, give it a rest, Craig. Um, what else? He was rattling on about his podcast. I thought, get to the bits we want to hear about, you know, the situation... With the YouTube beef, you know, he covered it briefly in his own impeccable way at the end. Uh, said, oh, I've moved on from all this. Um, you know, I don't want, I want to go on holiday more abroad. You know, Jimmy Pooman's advice that I go on holiday. No, that's a story now, Jimmy Pooman. I'm not talking about you anymore. I'm going to keep, keep talking about the stupid, stupid sheriff. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, um... What can I say? It was a rather dull and drab um, vlog, but, you know, I appreciate that video Craig's trying to turn his life around, you know, I applaud him for that, you know, and, you know, no ill feeling, I, I wish him the best in his um, recovery. Did he tell us all that he's going to be 11 months sober? Yes, I think he did. <laughs> all right, so also, I saw a bit of John Smith Karen Slayer last night, and I've got to say, who is the Karen on that video? It's John Smith, in it? He rattled on about something or other for ages, like, like a proper little snowflake. What's happened to him? I remember when he used to go on Expos Live and um, Fighting Trolls Live and just, you know, you know, get all aggressive, get all argument. Now he's gone like as soft as turd, as soft as the dung that's in um, the manure storage in... Mr. Pants Down's uh, farm. Speaking of Mr. Pants Down, what happened to him last night? There was a live scheduled, yes. Yeah? So I tuned in a few minutes past eight. I thought, all right, we'll sit through um, five, ten minutes of him babbling on about the Masons and they're all plotting and all they're all in a gang, you know. And But it just disappeared. And I couldn't find anything on his community post to say why. No doubt, he, was he having one of his naps? Was he having one? You know, when you get to a certain age, innit? You sleep all the time. It's cooking all that alphabet spaghetti and um, black pudding for Scotty G. It's worn him out. It really has. Um, I've heard a few rumours that Scotty G's been disappearing of late to the farm. And I'm not just talking about going to the local off licence to meet his two new mates, if you get me. So, we'll have to... I'm not sure about that one, so we can only speculate. But we'll see. Time will tell. He'll be gone by Christmas. He'll shuffle away from that farm. Pants Down's cult will all turn on him. Um, and yeah, it's what it is. You know, and he'd be lucky if he has the clothes on his back and a mobile phone in his hand. You know, when he let... Because everything 
that has been donated is going to be left to the farm. The wastelands, if you get me. So that's about it. Yeah, um, that's it. I'll be back later anyway. Big up to all the real ones. Look, I've got a little list here of the real ones so I don't forget. Just for you, Sheriff. Big up to Chris Murphy. Hey, what happened? What's he going on about on his video? He sent me a tenner. You never sent me a tenner, you bloody lying sod. And um, big up to JDP as well. I've really been enjoying his videos in the last few days. I think he's back to his best. Um, yeah, Amy and Dimmy. Big up to Amy and Dimmy. g and &E, Jimmy. Ice Cold. Narrative Destroyer. The Reacher and Eye Opener. That's about nine people, yeah, that have had their foot on this scam, yeah, this GoFundMe scam and all the cash scam and the gift scam, you know, big up to all the real ones, the nine people, uh, I don't know who the other 11 are, but if, if they come to me, <laughs> I'll add them to the list, oh no, don't, let's not go there, alright, but that's about it, how long we done people, we've done six minutes, keep it short, I'm off to work, but I will be popping back a little bit later, I'll probably do a video early evening when I get back, God bless, health over wealth.